let's see the next question next question we have a uniform half meter rule so it is not a full meter this is only a half meter rule so i'm considering a b okay and this is a half meter only 50 centimeter so it can be balanced at 29 centimeter for example this is zero mark this is 50 mark so at 25 might be here so I got 29 here. Okay, this is a fulcrum point. So when a mass of 20 gram is hung from its one end. So now 20 gram is given. I don't know which end we have to place. So think. So weight is acting. Where weight is acting? So weight of this half meter rule is acting here. So who, uh, which moment is this weight is creating? Force into perpendicular distance. So this moment is creating. This is called anti-clockwise so in order to balance this we have to put the weight here so that is 20 gram force how i got 20 gram force we know that weight is equals to m into g mass to 20 g is as it is so i got 20 gram force so now what we have to do so draw the diagram first part to clear we have to find the mass of the half meter rule mass of this half meter rule that is m into g okay now what i have to do I have to take anti-clockwise movement okay anti-clockwise movement is equals to clockwise movement same and same thing again and again we are doing same thing so anti-clockwise movement clockwise movement anti-clockwise movement W is creating that is W into how much this is a 25 mark this is a 29 so 25 minus 29 how much this distance yes 4 and clockwise movement this is 20 and perpendicular distance in this case is 50 minus 29 so 50 minus 29 this i can write so here i got weight is m into g okay and 4 and here 20 gram force means 20 into g and 50 minus 29 50 minus 30 is 20 and 29 means 21 okay so here we have to cancel this g and g cancel out and here I got 5 so 5 ones are 5 and 5 twos are 10 so 500 gram so this is the weight so second part I can say that find the mass of the half meter rule that is 105 gram is the mass of the rule